Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we'll be discussing about the use and detection of web application firewall that are seated in front of web application servers. So whenever you're surfing the internet, there's always a web application server that's running and it will serve the content to your client browser. So what happened is that a lot of the web application servers are protected on the front right in between with a web application firewall. So the web application firewall will filter out, sanitize the first input before it is being loaded into the web application server. And from the web application server, it could be loaded into a database. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So on the left side of the screen of Color is running and I can open up a terminal here. And of course we can zoom in so it's easier for you to see. So of course the first thing you want to look at is on the right side. So it's all about WAF detection on HTTP. So of course there's a lot of web servers out there in the internet or in the intranet which are running web application firewall to actually first look at what are the potential payload coming in and to be able to filter them away, get rid of those malicious payloads, sanitize inputs and so on. So it's a really powerful way to protect web servers and what we want to do is want to be able to detect those web application firewall so that later on you can think about how you want to put in your payloads what are the ways that you can circumvent some of the security mechanisms and so on so of course what we can do is we can actually look at nmap and nmap has a key capability on http waf detect so as you scroll down and you read through the script and what it does is that it's able to actually help you find out what kind of WAF it's using and how you can detect it. So as we scroll down, we can actually look at some of the sample usage on the example. So here we can zoom in so it's easier for you to see. So of course port 80 and then we have the detection and then the host name and so on. So go ahead and enter mmap and of course dash p80 for port 80 followed by dash dash script http WAF detect and we are going to scan my website to see what kind of web application firewall I'm using, if I'm using any, and we'll be able to check what kind of information we have on the WAF. So go ahead and hit that, and we'll start MMAP, and we'll scan the server and look out for potential WAF. So here, immediately, we get a response coming back. So we have a WAF detect. So here is confirmation on that there is a WAF running, and there was a payload, a simple payload, to check what kind of response we get from its system. So here we can actually see the script output very, very quickly from here. And of course, we have also some arguments that we can use like HTTP, WAF detect, aggro, and so on. So of course, moving forward, we'll look at the other script, which is a fingerprinting of the web application firewall. So here we have HTTP dash WAF dash fingerprint. So it tries to detect the presence and at the same time, trying to find out what kind of WAF it is actually running on. So of course, scrolling down, we can look at the example usage. So again, nmap dash dash script. So we can go ahead and key it in in your colonix or in your nmap command. Equal HTTP WAF fingerprint followed by www.loyliangyang.com. Hit enter on that and we'll get a response of the fingerprint of what kind of web application firewall is running in front of the web server so that we know further what are the key capabilities this web application firewall has and what kind of payload we can actually structure and build so that when we send it directly into the server we know that we have to bypass it so from here we can actually have the detected web application firewall and it is running on a cloud flare so this helps us detect the kind of web application firewall that's running in front of the web server so there is in it how quickly we could actually detect the web application firewall existence right on a domain name, right on a website server. And from there, we can actually do further investigation to find out specifically what kind of web application firewall is being utilized to protect the web server. And from there, you'll be able to craft out and build specific payloads that could potentially circumvent some of the security mechanisms or measures that are by default using specific web application firewall. So I hope you have learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of those questions. And remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can become abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.